Yo, what's up everybody, it's Doomax here, and in today's video, I wanted to showcase my Penal Magician deck that I got to Platinum 1 with uh, in Season 3 of Master Duel, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Uh, so unfortunately, we lost the die roll, but I think it's okay. This deck can play going first or second, it's really versatile. I think it's good going first though. So uh, this hand doesn't look too good, but uh, we're gonna have to just hope and see what we draw. Uh, hopefully it's a good card that I can use. And he's uh, playing live twins. I've actually played against live twins before, but I don't really remember what this deck actually does. I know it makes like uh, two life twin monster, life twin link monsters, and they pretty much end their turn with that. But I think that's pretty much all they do. Oh, that's a pretty good combo. But this means that he can't summon uh, Appaloosa. But he can still summon IP Mask right now. And that's the IP. Uh, Maxi would have been nice going, uh, uh, having it for the first turn, but uh, Maxi is a little bit too late there. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is scale the current razor. I always have Maxi. I'm gonna play Dual Alliance. I think since I have a really bad hand, I want to get Penum Call. Uh, so now I'm going to activate Phantom Call. Discard the dual Alliance that, that I don't need. This can search me a Harmonizing Magician plus a Low Scale, which I guess will be Purple Poison Magician. Wait no, I need High Scale. Well, actually I think that's fine. I have chronograph as a high skill. I'm gonna activate the effect of Curtain Razor.
Now I will normal summon the purple poison magician. And he's going to use Max Karina right now, so I'm going to change Max Key to that. He's probably going to make a uh, Unicorn. It makes Unchained Abomination. Alright, so here I want to do Electromite first. Use the electromite effect. He has a veil there, of course. So I'm gonna scale the Zonkei Magician And I can also scale the Chronograph Sorcerer So he's gonna have to only destroy the chronograph here. So I'm gonna scale the Wisdom Mind Magician And he can activate this card's effect Which means he can special summon out this one But uh, this is a really bad play because he can't destroy my scales because of Pendulum Claw. 
Oh wait, I wanted to... Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, I wanted to pen him summon from my hand. I'm gonna pass summon out the pearl poison. And I'm gonna special summon out the two cards right here. Everything's gonna go in attack position. Except harmonizing. Use the effect of harmonizing magician. Uh, he probably has another veil there. I'm gonna special supplement out the Black Fang Magician. And then using Harmonizing Magician and Pro Poison, I can make a Boreal Savage Dragon. Use the effect of Savage. I'm essentially doing this to bait out a, a failure or something. If he has one. Connection is so bad. We're going to equip the Electromite. And now we can uh, make Raider's Knight. And there's the Nibiru, and this is why I made Savage Dragon. So hopefully he does not have a Veiler in hand. So Raider's Knight Effect activates, I can special summon out Arcobellion Excuse Dragon. This is my uh, favorite card. In Master Duel right now, Detach 1, this card gains the attack equal to everything on the field. And this card just one shots one of his monsters. I'm gonna attack this one. And that's over 10,000 damage to the face. So that's how you can win with this deck going second. So we're gonna try to get another duel in. I wanna showcase this deck in action going first, hopefully. So if we win the die roll, we're gonna go first, but so unfortunately he's gonna probably go first. Which is fine. So not the best opening hand going first, but uh, he immediately scoops, so we just take the win, I guess. Alright, we're gonna get another duel, obviously, since that was just a really bad duel. 
Sometimes you get duels like that, like they just scoop and you just get a free win. Which I mean you take those. And we're going second again. This game hates me. I haven't really won the die roll for a long time. Now this is a pretty good hand going second, so can't complain. Going first, this hand would be pretty uh, mediocre. He's playing dry trons, uh, maxi right away. He's, he's probably not gonna overcommit to anything because uh, Herald can only negate like up to like seven times, I think. And I knew he wasn't gonna overcommit. Uh, pretty good for me though because I can scale the current razor and just win the duel pretty much. I'm gonna activate the effect of current razor to special summon it. Normal summon the Joker. Joker effect activates. You can get the wisdom eye. And you can scale the wisdom eye. And then you can make Electromite using these two cards. Electromite can place double iris in this extra deck. Then you can use that Electromite's effect to pop the Wisdom Eye. Uh, add uh, double iris to hand. Then you can show your Astrogas effect in hand. And then Ashraf can add me a Wisdom Eye to hand. And then scale the Wisdom Eye. Scale the Double Iris. Uh, activate the effect of Wisdom Eye. Placing Hoof Dragon. And you don't need to do this, but uh, we can just Pendulum Summon now. Some pendulum summon out the the one was my and the one harmonizing hand. Everything's gonna go in attack position. Special summon out the Black Fang Magician. And then pretty easily you can make Time Star using these two cards. And activate the effect of Time Star. You can add a Black Fang Magician from the deck. And 36, 24. Uh, we'll just do this effect right now to ensure, ensure that we have game. So now we can just attack for game pretty much with all uh, these cards. I'm pretty sure that all these, the, the five cards that I had before would have been game, but you want to be sure that you have game, especially against Drytrons. But yeah, this is it's over. And attack for game, Master Ass Sorcerer. Yeah, we won uh, two games so far. Well, three games since that one guy surrendered. 
But I want to know how to showcase the deck going first. Let's see if we can win the die roll one time. Oh, well, we can't win the die roll one time. But uh, he makes us go first, so that's good. A pretty decent hand going first. So we can normal summon the Joker. Oh, Ash Blossom. Alright, so we can scale the Dragon Pit Magician. And then we can scale the Wisdom Eye Magician. And then we can use the effect of Wisdom Eye. Can uh, get Hoof Dragon. Trigger Ashgrass effect. And we can add a Wisdom Eye from the deck to the hand using Ashgrass effect. And then we can simply make a uh, Electromite. Now with the Electromite's effect, we can send a uh, Harmonizing Magician from the deck. And then we can use the effect of Wolf Dragon to add back the Harmonizing. And then we can use the effect of Electromite to pop the Dragon Pit Magician. Add uh, Astrograph Sorcerer. Uh, Astrograph Sorcerer can trigger. And Electromite can draw me a card. Astrograph can search me another Wisdom Line. Although this is just overkill at this point. So now we can scale the Wisdom Eye, pop the Wisdom Eye, add a double iris to the scale, and then simply just pendulum summon everything. We'll do this plus harmonizing and the kaiju. I'm actually gonna keep the kaiju on the field just uh, just to use as a protection against another kaiju. So harmonizing can your trigger you can summon out a black pain and then you can make The Absolute Dragon using Dragon Pit and Astro Sorcerer. And then using uh, Absolute Dragon and Electromite, you can make Anaconda. <coughs> Absolute Dragon can summon out Rebellion Dragon from the extra deck. And then you can make Time Star, but you don't have to do this. I'm gonna do it anyways, because I don't like leaving monsters in defense mode. This so is just in case that they play like an Xyz monster and then they can attack over my uh, defense position monster and then make Zeus. But I don't want that to happen. So Time Star Magician can add me back a Asher Ass Sorcerer. Just for like a follow up I guess. And then using Time Star and Aberte 
they can make uh, rusty. So if you didn't want to make um, Time Star Magician, you could have made uh, Boiled Savage Dragon instead. But I prefer to keep uh, Boiled Savage Dragon just for next turn in case I needed it. But usually this is like enough to win duels. Like Kaliuga during your opponent's turn just straight up just wins, so can't complain about anything. And also filling up my graveyard is pretty good for Black Fang Magician in my deck. I can just keep recycling out these monsters, these dark spellcasters, using Black Fang's effect, so that's pretty good. Pretty good for follow-ups and uh, yeah, we can pen on some not like a bunch of monsters for next turn as well. So this guy can't really do much against this field. You can't kaiju, you can't, can't lightning storm because I could just negate it with Kaliuga. So I don't really know what actually can beat this, to be honest with you. I mean, I guess now he can kaiju since my kaiju is negated. So usually players get salty when they see Kaliuga, so they just uh, take their time. I, I guess he's reading it, I don't know. But when Kaliuga is summoned, um, your opponent can't really do anything. It negates everything on the field. Anything that gets played gets negated. So even if he has Rugeki, it will get negated. So yeah, this is pretty much GG at this point, so yeah. And yeah, this is pretty much how we got to Platinum 1. Uh, pretty easy to play, you don't really need to do m many uh, negates. And uh, he does have the Lava Golem. I played around Kaiju, but uh, Lava Golem does beat the Kaiju, but Everything is still negated at this point. So he's playing Numerons. I kind of figured that he was playing like some kind of OTK deck since he made me go first. And there's the Rageki that I called. <laughs> so yeah, that's the surrender. So I'm gonna show you guys the deck list that I'm playing for this deck. So I kind of changed it up a bit, but you guys did see this deck before in action. I played this deck in like a replay video that I did before. So I'm playing one copy of Dragon Blade Magician. This is good for getting rid of back row stuff like skill drain, which is pretty good. You can tutor it out with uh, Wisdom Mind Magician, so yeah. Uh, everything is like easily accessible with like Penum Call, Duce Alliance, Wisdom Mind Magician, so yeah. Maxi, you play three copies of this. This is a card that I'm, I consider cutting out because it's considered a brick in Penum Magicians. Usually you want to see like scales for more consistency. But I do like seeing Maxi going second because it's a good intimidation factor. Usually players like to just uh, 
not play play them take the maxi challenge so yeah maxi is just good for that reason uh, usually maxi is also better with like playing with playing other hand traps but like i said i'm using this as like an intimidation factor so that people don't uh over commit to anything and yeah uh but maxi can also draw me into the kaiji which is pretty good so yeah that's a pretty good card from in my opinion in this deck Next I'm playing one copy of Silent, Silent Boots. This is uh, considered one of my bricks in the deck and also the rank of magic launch. Uh, you guys saw the whole combo with that though. You need to play it to go into Kaliuga. So that's the that's pretty much the only bricks that I'm playing. The Maxi, the Kaijus, and Silent Boots. Everything else, I think it's not a brick. So we're playing one copy of Perform Power Pendulum Sorcerer. This card can search you out the Joker, uh, which is also a pretty good card. It's the searcher for the deck. It searches any any of your magician monsters. Uh, Wisdom, I, you play three copies of Wisdom I Magician and three copies of Skullcrow by Joker. These are your main ways of searching for the, from the deck. One copy or two copies of Harmonized Magician. Uh, she's pretty much at two for a reason, but. I don't think she's that amazing. I think she can probably go to three to be honest, but uh, two is good enough in my opinion. One double Irish magician. I kind of wish that this card is at two. It would make it would make Ashraga Sorcerer so much better. And then three copies of Black Fang magician. You want to maximize your Black Fang magician because you can recycle your uh, dark spell casters from the graveyard and special summon them, which is pretty amazing. Then three copies of Poison Magician. This card is good going second because you can break boards with this card, which is pretty good. Then three copies of Eider Curtain Razor. This card makes uh, Electromite uh, pretty easily because you don't need to waste your normal summon, in, or I mean your panel summon to make Electromite. So that's really good. And then two copies of Wolf Dragon Magician. This card can add back one of your magician monsters from your extra deck to your hand. So yeah. And then one copy of a Chronograph Magician. This is kind of like a monster that can extend your plays, I guess. And then one copy of Zonkei Magician. This is another level 7 that you play for a Harmonized Magician. You pound summon out your Harmonized Magician, you can special summon out Zonkei Magician. And then Electromite, you use to search out the Astrogast Sor Sorcerer as an easy absolute dragon, which is good. And then three Radian, the Kaiju. This is a level seven Kaiju, so you can pendulum summon it if you don't, if you want to, so that you have a easy, easy access to a rank seven, which is good. And then obviously the one copy of Astrogast Sorcerer. For the spells, you're playing one copy of Upstart Goblin. I didn't really know what else to play, so this is like the one card or third this card makes it a 39 card deck and then one copy of phantom call three copies of duelist alliance this card can search out any phantom card which is good one star phantom graph uh, one phantom that rank of magic launch and one time phantom graph this card is really good with time storm edition so yeah and then for the extra deck i'm playing one copy of warlord savage dragon really good omni negate it can negate anything which is good for it in general so yeah uh, one time storm magician searches out any of your dark spellcaster monsters uh one copy of baguska usually when uh your opponent plays maxi you just make this card and pass uh your opponent can't really do much about it so yeah and then you play one copy of raider's knight and one copy of Arc Rebellion next Siege Dragon. You guys saw this during my uh, duel against the Live Twins. I pretty much destroyed them with this card, which was really good. <laughs> it's one of my favorite cards in Master Duel right now for that reason. It did like 10k damage to that player, so yeah. Then one copy of Absolute Dragon. You need this card for the Kaliuga play because uh, uh, yeah, it brings out the Hottest Rebellion Dragon. Then you're playing one copy of Kaliuga, the most insane broken card in the deck. Just wins duels easily. And you're playing one copy of Heavy Metaphors Electromite. Uh, obviously, it's a really good Pendulum card. 
one copy of Verte Anaconda. You can play any dark monsters, but I, any dark link monster that's a link too. But I personally prefer Reverse Anaconda because it can turn your uh, Absolute Dragon into a dark monster. So it's more uh, convenient, I guess, to make uh, Rusty off of that. Then I'm playing one copy of Unicorn. So I'm playing this because there was a, an issue that I had before where I was playing against like some uh, Lyrilus card that couldn't be destroyed by battle or card effect so I, I need to I need to bounce it so I, and I didn't have one, a card that could bounce a card so I added this in so yeah that's a pretty good card then you're playing with copy of Rusty Bardiche this is for the Kaliuga play one copy of Selene uh, obviously it makes Appaloosa and Access Code Talker pretty easily so yeah that's it for the deck list I hope you guys enjoyed the video Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.